Hello, my name is Leo, and welcome back to Jack as a Thread last episode. We finally found. Hello? Hello? Hello. There's a stupid cat with a tally on his back. And I went and I got a fish from my hideout. And I also bought some catnip. And I shouldn't be catnip, it's what I want, because the camera like panned to the convenience store, which had the catnip in it. But I wonder if it'll like a fish too. Huh. Okay. How about a delicious fish? What? Did, did I actually lose it? No, okay, catnip, I'm sure. Here's some catnip! Yeah. There we go, I just happily mentioned a man. Do you have a catch with me? Pick her up. Meow. Do I actually have to take her to the freaking woman? No, I just. Hello! Hello! Oh, <laughs> you found her! Thank you so much, I can ever thank you. I'm gonna unbutton one of those, uh. one of those, uh, buttons that you shot there. I'm afraid I can't give you more than this, but please take it with my gratitude, it doesn't match. Well, oh, that's fine. At least pays for half of the stupid, almost half of the Conrad budget that I spent on Ricky. Silly kitty, I told you to go outside, I did not tisk. Alright, there we go, isn't that fun? Now I'm all the way up here again. Well, at least we found the cat with Italy on its back. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, I need to get rid of this fish that's going to be turned. I need to get some records back. Yeah. Maybe you could probably not have so many weapons. Ah, yeah, shut up. So that situations like this don't arise? Shut up. Wait, where are we up to? Double stick. Double. Oh my god. I was gonna say, hey Nico, do you want to go boarding? But then I thought no. But then I, I just said it anyway. Oh man. Newspaper reporters are having hang around new boss begging to cause trouble to refuse job because it's just sometimes it's too sickosky to come <laughs> here. The other day I heard this amazing story about LIT Minister Suzuki. LIT, what does that mean? No idea. We got a yeah. story. Oh, I couldn't tell you that. But if you want to know more, why don't you step by some room yourself and take a look at it? I will do just that! I don't fucking want to hear it. Why don't you just disappear? Is that fucking you, you? No. Was that sound like it was coming from the alley? Oh, no, it wasn't. <gasps> I know who this is! Ibuki, you bastard! If you ever poke your nose in my doesn't belong again, I'll be the last thing you ever know! Enough of this, man called Ibuki. Doing this to me isn't gonna change anything. Shut your yap. Ugh. The last warning. Did you ever show your face right here again? So you remember Kamaru Castle? That place that's, uh, is it? No, it's north of, it's north of Abisu, uh, pawn shop. 
and it's like a little castle and you can never get to go in there. You can totally go in there with this game, it's great. It's a really sick ass restaurant actually. <laughs> hey, are you alright? Oh yeah, thanks for your concern. You're injured. Are you sure you're okay? Don't worry. It's nothing. Wait, are you kidding, Kazuma? You know I am. I used to be a member of the Dojima family. My name is Buki. Okay, you're Buki. Sorry, I don't remember. Back then, I was just a flunky. So it's not surprising you don't remember me. But still. Nah. I mean, it was over ten years ago. Ten years ago. Ten years ago. Wait, what happened ten years ago? Ten years ago was uh, before Yakuza 1, after Yakuza 0. Hey, you don't look so good. I can't just leave you here. I'm gonna have to make sure you get him set. Thank you. I'm sorry to really put you out like this. And here it is, Camo Casa. Which is a restaurant, not a uh, love hotel. But yeah, the restaurants, the, the actual tables, uh, um, yeah, these like little, like cells essentially. Uh, it's not a castle now, obviously, but, um, I mean, it's not a restaurant now, but... What is this place? It used to be a restaurant I ran as a Yakuza business called Camo Castle. Camo Castle. But it hasn't been a restaurant for a long time now. Now it serves the headquarters of the Honest Living Association, or an uh, ally, uh, and the representative. The Honest Living Association? Yes, the HLA is an organization that helps former Yakuza members get out of the business and start making a living by honest means. We do things like help them find work, give them low-interest loans if they need them, things like that. I see. So it's fucking weird, like, cha charity for ex-Yakuza. At first we used my house as the HLA headquarters, but a lot of our members needed a place to stay too. So we could run this restaurant I'd been running into our dorm and headquarters. The castle dungeon look comes from the original restaurant's theme. As you'll remember, so it kind of looks like a prison, so it helps them to keep on the straight and narrow. Hehe. <laughs> Guess it's better contributing factor to the rehabilitating of our members back to honest society. Huh, I never knew a place like this existed. Yeah, well, we kind of got to get things out of, the, out of the wraps, so uh, I guess most of the Tojo Clan members uh, have never heard of it. We found it, Angela. Osamu Kashiwagi. No fucking shit. Kashiwagi. It's time for people to live the Yaksa. Leave the Yaksa. To make their way and try to earn a little living in the outside world. Kashiwagi knew this. And saw how much these guys were suffering. That's why we set up the HLA. He was a well-respected man who always took good care of his men. He, so even former Yakuza members came to him with their problems. They'd all tell him that leaving the business was fine and all, but that trying to make it an honest society was next to impossible. I can imagine. Yeah, knowing what kind of guy Castro Mark he was, I'm sure he let them a, sympathy, a sympathetic ear. Kashiwagi, there were still members of his family, even though they'd already left the Yakuza. But why the fuck was he such a dick to me? Fucking <laughs> Yakuza Zero. Kashiwagi founded the HLA as an organization that could provide these people with the support they needed. Well, what do you know? Recently, as the Yakuza clan, as the Tojo clan was getting embroiled in turmoil, Kashiwagi turned over the management of the HLA to me. He asked me to watch over our members until they call they could support themselves by honest means. Now that Catch Rock is no longer with us, it's my duty to fulfill his dying wish. Yeah, I can understand that. But now the HLA is facing a serious problem. That man from before, he's a former member of our who once received our help under somebody's direction. He's been repeatedly inflicting harm on others members of the HLA and the Treasure Clan. I wonder why he'd do that. And it isn't just him. More and more former Yaksa are carrying out these kinds of actions. Attacks. They call themselves the Avengers! <laughs> okay. 
And they have some kind of obvious facility. But all of these so-called Avengers used to work for Yoxo's Hitman. Hitman, eh? So we're talking professional kills, eh? Right. All we've been able to gather so far is that somebody is organizing for the Yaksa Hitman to carry out some kind of revenge. Revenge, huh? Do you suppose they're plotting to wipe out the HLA? Well, not necessarily, seeing as they also have been harassing active members of the social class as well. The HLA is going to have to do something about this. We can't just lie down and take it. Are there any people in the HLA that can take all this Hitman? Unfortunately, no. Seeing as our members are former Yaksa, who are trying to reform. Yeah, that makes sense. So, these Hitman. All you need is for someone to catch them, round them all up, right? What are you saying? So, if I were to go around and catch these guys, you can focus on helping your HLA, mem your HLA members turn their lives around, am I right? That's true, but I couldn't ask you anything like that from you. I left the accent myself to an honest, to live an honest life. I know how rough it can be, and I know how important it is for you to honor Kashiwagi's dying wish. So, if there's any way I can help, I want to do it. Kitty, would you really do that for us? I've got a lot of things going on right now, but I'll definitely help you whenever I get the chance. I don't know how much, you don't know how much this means to us. How can I express our gratitude? Save it for when this is all over. So what exactly do you need me to do? Well, let's see. The HLA is using all of its resources right now to collect information on these Avengers. Whether it's convenient for you, whenever it's convenient for you, please pop down here and I'll give you the info with God if I'm one of the hitmen. And then, if you manage to find a catch for that hitman, give me a call and we'll take it from there. Got it. This man will be forming all permits. You'd probably, you'd probably better go after, go after them only one at a time. Right, that sounds sensible. For every hitman you discuss with the camera, the HLA will offer you a reward. Oh, I'm afraid we can't be much. I don't need any money. It's not why I'm doing this. But it wouldn't be right to do it. If we didn't at least cover your expenses, please be insist. Well, it's very kind of you. Alright, I accept. Thank you. I could ask you one more thing. What's that? These Avengers have been popping up all over the country, carrying out our attacks on regional families of the Tojo clan as well. At this stage, I'm afraid we don't have any resources to do much outside of camera show, but it seems to me I recall you saying you live in Okinawa. I didn't actually say that, no. That's right. <laughs> if we get any information in Okinawa Hitman, do you think you could go down there as well? Sure, no problem. I don't know when I'll be back there, but definitely keep me in the loop. Great! Thank you. I'll let you know whenever we find anything. In any case, we can't shut these Avengers down for good until we find out who's behind all this. The road is going to be difficult, but with you on our side, I know we can do this. Thank you, Fabulous Cosmo. Good luck. It's like they can't create it without the clan. It's just me. So this is a whole side story, I guess. Sure. Where am I walking? Where can I run? Do people populate these areas when you save them? I think so. Hmm. Have you heard about a street musician named Hideki? He's this young guy who's always singing and playing his guitar in front of the Millennium Tower. He's pretty good too. Since he always ha since he's always there, you might be able to get some good information out of him that'll help you track down people. Well, we're not doing this now. If you want me to do that, uh, leave a comment and maybe we'll do that after we finish the game. Like, doing, like, the full story. Yakuza, the full story. Which would include, obviously, the main game, plus all side content. Yeah, that took a while. It sure would. I'm sure there's someone who wants to say that, but... Unless someone actually says something about it, then I'm not going to actually do it. I think that's fair. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to save the game. Yeah. Well, when we come back, we are going to play some more Yaxa 3. But for now, my name is Luna. See you next time. Bye.